Here we go. Carlsbad Caverns. Let's check it out. All right, Carlsbad Cave, here we come. I am uh, just got past the ranger. I can take it at my own pace, which is nice, so I can go nice and quick. And I'll probably be alone because I'm ahead of the group and they're not going to catch me. So this is the mouth and I'm going in. So this is called Iceberg Rock. It weighs 20,000 tons. It's hard to get the scale here, but it's the largest rock to fall in Carl's bed. And I guess that's important, but the sign said they don't fall anymore. It just does it while the cave forms. That makes me think how do caves form? Anyway, that's it for now. This is the renowned Green Lake Room. Pretty cool. Shout out to Tanto Honey in Green Lake. Bye bye. Quick little tidbit here. If you have bad knees, you're not doing the natural entrance because my knees hurt and they're pretty good. And let's just say I'm taking the elevator up. Oh, now I'm finally going up. Okay. I'll take it. You know, I put on Strava, but it really doesn't record in the cave. So I'm going to have to manually upload my activity. Ooh, false survivors. Let's check this out. I guess it's not human survivors. Just check that out. Like, I'm not going to touch it, but it looks like broccoli. No, cauliflower. It's kind of neat. Yeah. I guess there's some science there. Something about minerals and water. Lion's tail. Wow. Look at that. It almost looks like an alien, like, egg suspended from the ceiling. It's like it's... I don't know about lion's... I guess you could see the lion's tail. I like alien egg suspended from ceiling. They should rename that for sure. Drip by drip. Drip drop. I'm not reading too much. It's too much to see. Wow. So cool. Alright. I promise next one will be the great one. There's just too much. It's so cool. I love caves. I would love can you imagine living in here? Like an apartment. You wouldn't have to worry about heat. I could definitely see like the cavemen, well, obviously, living in caves. I'd really piece that one together. Wow. Almost looks like dolls or statues. What is going on here? That's something crazy. What? I call this the Asferga Dragon Garden. Oh, they call it Fairyland. We need to get a new namer here. Lion's Tail, give me a break. Whoa. Can you imagine, like, falling on that? Like, if gravity reversed, you would, you'd dead probably die. I call this the not hot tub. I would totally swim in that if it was legal. I'm wondering, where are all of the bats? I wanted to see a corona bat. Not get bit by it, but just, you know, pet it and stuff. I think they have the white nose disease and they all died. Poor bats. Check it out. I think I'm coming on the end. Okay, what do we got here? Big room route. Oh, I don't want to sit. Big room route. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Shit. Cave watch. nice reminds me of like the college buttons you'd press when you thought you were gonna get assaulted or something all right you know could you imagine having a rave the, the sound and the echoes it would be called a, a rave a cave rave and it would be pretty spectacular the light like get some lights some lasers and just oomph, oomph, oomph. 
that would be nuts. Maybe I should buy a cave. I don't know if you can buy one, but that would be so cool. You'd probably end up like shattering rocks and everybody would die, like in Tom Sawyer. But I guess this is the great room, maybe. Pretty, pretty great, pretty big. Yeah, that's it for now. I call these the dinosaur eggs because that one especially looks like an egg. I wonder what they call it. Probably something like that. It's definitely very egg-like. All right, there's people. Now let's check out what's going on here. It's a big egg to be a cave dinosaur. All right, best area, bottomless pit. Oh, rest area, I don't wanna do that, fuck that. Okay, I'm coming on the end here, I think. I call that the spiky hole. Pretty cool. What are these little doll things? Kind of weird. I'm excited to ask a few questions. One, how long is this trail? Two, how deep does it go? And three, I think that's it. Whoa, check that out. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take some pictures. But overall, this is the coolest cave I've been in, I think. There's been some caves that have a really cool room. I forget where it was. That was really neat and probably better than this but the overall cave is just stunning check that out it's so big that's so cool all right picture time and then i think i'm i think i'm done oh big room continues god all right i've seen enough stalactites and mites for my life whoa that guy that almost looks like a man with armor on, like the samurai, samurai armor. I don't know if you can see that, I'll see you later. But this is a strenuous cave thing. You gotta be at least kind of young and healthy. You could take it slower, but okay. I'm gonna snap some selfies now, bye-bye. All right, surface level, baby. Back to the sun. Just wanna show this off real quick. Overall, really cool experience. Cool cavern, coolest cave I've been in, I think. Um, it was well done. You know, I've actually been pretty impressed by the National Park Service. Uh, I've been to a few national parks already and they're always very friendly. Things are well maintained. I mean, we spent a lot of money on it, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cool thing. And you know, you gotta preserve that stuff because if you didn't, uh, it'd just be a tragedy to lose something like that. So little facts about it. So founded in 1898, well founded, discovered by a guy named Jim White. He thought he saw smoke coming out of like the ground and it turns out they were bats. Um, so that's that's the, the story of it being founded. It was about one and a half miles of walking. A lot, like I said in the beginning, a lot of steep downhill if you do the natural entrance. And uh, I think it's about like 700 feet deep. Uh, so pretty cool. And just check that out. I mean like barren, I don't know, land. I don't know if that's on the National Forest probably because it looks very untapped. Um, but right now I'm going to go check on Murphy. Hopefully he's having a good day. I, I probably should have taken him into the cavern. He would have liked it, but, uh, I'm going to check on Murphy and then go get some food and then going to check the route to Albuquerque. Uh, probably just going to hoof it there and, uh, just grab a bite to eat and then charge the phone a little bit in the car and then get ready to go hit Albuquerque. But this was Carlsbad. Highly recommend. Really cool experience.